Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I thought today that I'd talk a bit about how I actually ended up in hospital. how I ended up inpatient. So initially I had taken an overdose of my diabetic medication. I was then taken to Sussex County Hospital. And when I got to A&E I wanted to leave. Boy did I want to leave. I went to the door but it wouldn't open. And I was dragged back by security. One of the doctors there signed the form saying I didn't have capacity to make that decision. So I had no capacity, I wasn't allowed to leave. I was then put on a section 5.2. I don't even remember having a mental health act assessment. I was sedated. Well, sedated. I was given two milligrams IV midazolam. It did nothing. I was then on two to one, one security member and one HTA. The whole experience was really traumatic. But in the days to follow, after I was admitted to AAU, I had a mental health assessment. I can't say I remember what I said in that assessment. I can't even remember the assessment taking place. That's how much I wanted to leave. I took no notice of anything else. I just took notice that I wanted to leave. And I tried to leave multiple times. It just got me pinned to a bed and I am. Um, so they increased my haloperidol to 3 milligrams. I was only on 1.5 at the time. They increased it to 3 milligrams. I was in Sussex County Hospital for two weeks waiting for a bed on section two. I did I did appeal the section but my tribunal went up in my face because everyone agreed that I needed to be in hospital. The whole tribunal system was was a blur because I didn't see why I needed to be in hospital. I tried everything in my power to get out and things got really dark. I was on two to one with security and then one to one with HTA. By the time I got here, two weeks of my section two had already been used. After the two weeks I was part of section three. Looking back on it, the overdose I thought could it, it would have killed me had I not gone to A for treatment. My blood sugar reached 1.7. It's lowest that I was conscious for. Overall I see now why I was admitted and why I'm still in hospital. But back then like, I just wanted to go home because then I had somewhere to call home. The lesson learned there is Lydia you can't take on five security guards. I do want to say though that the security in that hospital was very supportive. The doctors couldn't get to hell. The nurses were nice. HCAs were nice. But the doctor couldn't tell. She ignored absolutely everything that I said. Even down to a cannula placement. She wanted to put one in my fucking foot. And I, I was like, get the fuck away from my foot. My arms, go for it. Knock yourself out. My feet, 
No. You're not putting a cannula in my foot. Sorry, not sorry. But the whole experience was really traumatic. You know, when you get told, oh, you do have class too. You, you then can't make any decision about what treatment you have. But like now, I can see why this admission was necessary or back then. Had someone actually sat down and talked to me like a human being about why I needed to be in hospital, I probably wouldn't be on a section. But yeah, that's how I ended up in hospital. Thanks for joining me on this little story. Let me go and out some of my frustrations. Thanks to everyone. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to those who follow me on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Peace.